I guess you're plugging it. Oh no, your headset's already plugged in. Yep. Just okay. Twist it up. Okay, we're uh, recording now, so let's go ahead and do a com check. Com check, com check, over. Uh, I'm reading beautifully to the uh, handset here. Are you picking up on your headset? Uh, I can hear you just fine, over. Okay, Dan, I'm going to go outside. I'm going to walk down the block a little bit, and uh, I'm just going to ask you for some numbers while you uh, set up uh, or turn on the uh, electrical system. Sounds good, over. I can see that, over. What's the best way to get this thing to rotate? Do I push in and then rotate over? No, sorry about that. You can't see it. There is a, uh, there is a, uh, there we go. Button on the bottom side of the, uh, knob that you turn and you squeeze that knob and it's going to push, press in the button and then you're able to rotate the knob. How come? I pushed in the button and rotated it so that the button is now facing one. Over. That's correct. I have a green blinking light. Over. I switched the master power on and the light came on. Over. I switched on volts and both the analog is reading 11.9 and the digital is reading 12.0. Over. Back one and back two are in the closed position. Over. I have opened vac one and vac two. Over. I have located the BG draw line over. I have placed it next to my cheek. I currently do not feel any flow. Over.
Could you repeat the location of the vacuum pump one switch? I see a scrub one and scrub two over. I have switched on scrub one and I notice draw from the tube over. I switched on scrub 2 and the draw is increased over. It's very difficult to feel anything coming in right now, over. I can feel just faintly something, but very little, over. Just one point of note, well, one thing to note, Scrub 2 currently does not have the light on. It looks like the light for Scrub 2 is burned out, over. I am switching off Scrub 2 and Scrub 1, over. VAC 1 and VAC 2 valves have been closed, over. So you would like me to open valves 1 and 2, correct? Over. I have opened valves 1 and 2, over. That's correct, over. I see a coolant. I have switched on coolant and there's a red indicator light, over.
I have turned on the coolant flow and adjusting the knob changes the sound of the motor. Over. I copy that. Over. <laughs> I have shut off electrical power to the pumps. Over. I have closed the valves. Over. Some of the things are working and the cobs are working, which is a major improvement. <laughs> Seems like this headset works pretty well. Over. Yeah, great. Okay, uh, you can go ahead and uh, shut down the electrics by starting with uh, make sure that all the electrical switches are in the off position. I'm turning off the volt switch. Over. And I am killing master power. Over. Okay, and then uh, uh, your battery selected to zero. Maybe you've already done that. Moving battery selector to zero. Over. Battery selector is at zero. Over. Okay, and then your uh, main uh, fuse indicator or main power indicator should no longer be blinking. You should, in fact, you should have no indicators on anymore. I see no indicators on. Over. Okay, great. I'm going to open up the back and uh, uh, we can pull it out. <laughs>